CIG has been making massive strides this year thus far. In this video, we're going to go over the key points that you need to know from this past monthly report. First and foremost, we're going to start off with the AI tech. And it starts off with the AI tech focused on improving the navigation system, extending it to cover the entire planet. NPCs can now push trolleys with precise positioning and improve transit and elevator usage. Spaceship behavior were refined to better ship versus turret combat. They've also made updates to the Apollo tool, including improved error feedback and navigation. AI tech continued to support the PU releases while developing an upcoming feature for Alpha 3.23. On the art ships, they made progress to the RSI Polaris with exterior reaching LOD zero and interior nearing gray box review. This is huge. So this is an indication that we may see the Polaris in the upcoming sale in May. I believe it's going to be the Invictus event, but definitely this summer, I think we should see the Polaris, maybe with the 4.0 build. We also did a redesign on the interior section to accommodate gameplay and align with art and direction. Two upcoming variants progress through the pipeline and one completed LOD zero gate review. The Aegis Retaliator is undergoing a gold standard pass waiting gray box gate review. Two unannounced vehicles pass LOD zero gate review with minor issues. The RSI Zeus approach end of gray box with improvements to cargo hold, ramp mechanism, and interior detailing. I also suspect the Zeus will be coming out this May as well. Um, we'd be excited to see this one. A lot of people are actually looking forward to this ship. Redesign of the ship to ship docking, ring, door, and frame for better aesthetics integration. This is going to be awesome to finally see ship to ship docking. This is something we've been waiting for for quite some time. It's glad. I'm glad that they're actually working on this. They have a polish complete on another new ship while another progress through various development stages. Under art ship, weapon arts focused on the updates for Alpha 3.23, including scope magnification and optics improvements. Overhaul of scope system to modern FPS standard planned and existing iron sights across all weapons also updated. Reloading across all weapons improved and streamlined as well. On the core gameplay, they've refined backpack reloading for Alpha 3.23, introducing magazine repacking in the player's inventory. Scope updates and iron sight folding support, and they've also worked on blur effects for scope in progress. They made improvements on item wear and tear and misfire system, as well as player interaction mechanics. They made advancements in ship systems, including heat generation and life support integration. Refactor of radar components on vehicles completed, allowing data sharing between operators. This is awesome to hear. Engineering work for a renewed commander, including streaming technology and custom lobby settings. This is a big one to be able to have custom lobbies. I think this will be a great quality of life update to actually get custom lobbies set, especially with the new master modes. Backend were completed for new game modes like the Grab Royale, ongoing mission system refactor as well. Reputation based hostility updated to include nearby allied or security factors in defense. Contract manager has been converted to building blocks for the new mode class. Work on persistence and instance hangers is ongoing. Initial version of automated cargo loading implemented progress made on freight elevators or closing logic. I'm glad that we're hearing more about the automated cargo loading because this is actually important for people that don't have that much time when they play. So this is good to see. Under economy, the economy team has adjusted salvage mechanics to align better with the other careers in the persistent universe. Rebalancing of commodities on the way to enhance cargo career experience. Support offered for the Xeno Threat Global event as well as initial conservation made regarding FPS ammo prices interesting i can't wait to see ammo types as well not, not just ammo prices but also new ammo types will be interesting to hear more about under graphics and vfx programming and planet tech the graphics team made progress on long-term tasks in february gas cloud and planet cloud upscale near completion with challenges regarding 
animated lights, gas cloud occlusion effects also near completion to enhance detail level. Global Illumination team worked on approximating complex materials within ray tracing views. Welkin team addressed the performance issue and worked on shader caching mechanism. Water Strike team closed out issues and added new features including SDF interaction for accurate collisions. Planet Tech team improved editor's workflow and planning for Planet Tech V5 to enhance planet creation. Graphics team focused on improving upscale tech and finalizing new mesh format for better performance. Under locations, the landing zone team collaborated with the feature team to finalize the prototype for cargo and new hangar experience. Can't wait to see more about this. Final arts and LOD are near completion for modification to hangers. This is going to be a big one to be able to modify and customize your hangers. Sandbox team progress on upcoming distribution centers, finalizing art and optimizing with level design, adding tweaks to support gameplay. Under the tech art animation, the team focused on refining head assets and addressing technical debt. Efforts initiated to polish head assets and refine eye alignment for improved character appearance. The department worked on assets set up for locker to be placed throughout the verse, allowing apparel changes for players and NPCs. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait for this. Initiatives launched to maintain build stability and address technical debt accumulated over the project. Under VFX, the team focused on upcoming locations like freight elevators and distribution centers, investigated issues with planetary ground storm causing excessively thick fog during light winds. Cannot wait to see this, to see the ground storms. Balancing dynamic effects like storms to improve visibility for players in mild conditions. One thing that they need to improve is the winds. The winds have too much effect on the player character it kind of immersion breaking so this is something cig needs to look into as well you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video